But if we wait until tomorrow to get the car, they're gonna charge us $700. Look like a real life bum behind the camera. But it's okay because it's cleaning hour. We're not supposed to look cute because what's the point if you're just going to clean? I have a lot of things to do today so there's not really much time to be cute. I do have to be... Wait, what's today? So today is... Um... It's Sunday and I have to be out of my apartment by Tuesday. So... It's not looking too good for me. Okay, we're going to clean up this part of my bathroom. And then we're going to clean up this part of my bathroom. This part isn't really that bad. It's just stuff really cluttered. All this stuff kind of needs to be packed up now because I'm not going to be here in the next two days. So I'm going to start working on packing these things up as well. But first, I'm just going to clean it just so it doesn't look like this. This just looks like very overwhelming. This just looks so overwhelming to the eyes. Like we need to switch this up. Okay, let's start. So we're gonna start at the front door. I'm gonna show you guys my whole apartment. It's not really clean, so I don't know why I'm showing you guys it. This is a cleaning my apartment video. Don't forget, always remember. So this is my closet. This is a problem. Like, it's not even Christmas anymore. Why do I even? I don't know why I thought a Valentine's Day tree was gonna be the next big thing. But it turned into this. I don't know what I was thinking, but it, it was basically a fail. I didn't want it to turn into this. I wanted it to be more beautiful pink and red, but clearly I didn't invest my time in it. So we have this boof ass Valentine's Day tree. Over there's my lazy ass cat that doesn't pay rent and literally requires the most expensive food at the grocery store i don't know why but once you get into an apartment you just kind of stop cleaning up at actually wait is that just me honestly when i got my own apartment and i knew i didn't have any roommates or anybody to live with i kind of just started treating it like it was my own but what i really need to start doing is learning how to be an adult and cleaning up after myself. Even though I do clean up after myself, don't get me wrong. Oh, you guys, look at all the flowers. My, uh, my mommy and my boyfriend gave me flowers for Valentine's Day. They're so freaking sweet. I didn't really post a lot of things for Valentine's Day. Look how cute. He got me some roses. Honestly, I think it's fine. 2023, we're going to start making good habits. <laughs> I did do my dishes yesterday, so... That's a good start. I just finished my little bathroom area. Look, he still need to organize these four drawers in the bottom cabinets. He wants attention so bad. Yeah, so we finished this little area. I forgot to put these little critters back. Oh shit, all my little things are falling out. My red jaspers. So now we're gonna work on this little area. This is my main bathroom area where like pretty much everybody gets ready. But yeah, like this is my freaking castor oil water that I put in my hair for whenever I don't want it to get really greasy. I just have all my oils and skincare, but I really need to organize this and put some of it away. So we're gonna do that. And then my boyfriend's stuff is over here. So I'm probably just gonna leave that.
Les spoils étaient bien, les vitons j'étais, et les jantons les hoppa, les gisons l'étaient. Okay. You know what though? I forgot to bring it. Okay. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. Oh, his balls are on my phone. Y'all, yeah, that was the mattress I got sent when I was in eighth grade, so don't don't judge me. We're cooking like being in that room, so I look you wanna throw everything away, but it's cheap. <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. Just got in town, and I won't let come in this cloud, it's all in the sky. Face the <laughs> <laughs> I'll show my baby woke up and our front yard was full of snow. You guys, look! What the freak? Can't go anywhere. <laughs> I know I did too. Ranger. The point of me recording was so you didn't have to come outside. <laughs> <laughs> Snowy freak. Okay, you guys, it's my last day at the apartment. Basically, need to get all the finishing things out of my closet, my little cabinets. I still have so much stuff, but it's all gonna be out literally by today. It was a good six months, so that's literally all i stayed here for i'm not gonna hype it up and say that it was the best apartment i've ever been in because this was my first apartment also excuse the bummy fit i've literally been moving all day and been feeling sick like give me a break i literally just showered today after like a week of not taking a shower it was actually really terrible really bad for your health wouldn't recommend it very disgusting needed to be exfoliated scrubbed down like my hair usually doesn't even look this good after a shower I'm just really confused. What did I do different? <gasps> I literally never wake up early. This should not be legal. I literally woke up at 5. Also, y'all, I haven't been sleeping on a bed because my bed is at my mom's house. I was not even sleeping in a bed. I don't know if I was sleeping on my arm, but my arm feels so dead. I could barely hold up my camera right now. It feels like I just resurrected from a coffin. I have mascara from yesterday. I forgot to take it off because I don't know why I was so tired, but I literally just knocked the f out and I fell asleep. And I think I fell asleep low key early and I think that's why I woke up so early. But whatever, we're gonna do a 5 a.m. morning routine. Um, we're just gonna do like waking up at 5 a.m. One thing about me is I've actually been trying to wake up early in the morning for years now. Like literally the reason why I ended up dropping out of college is because I couldn't wake up for school. Like literally, really embarrassing if you ask me. But honestly, I probably am gonna go back to college because learning is something that you know I really love. But I just need to get my habits together. I need to start waking up every day at literally this time teach myself some self-discipline because it's not working oh it's cookie bear why do you sound like why do you sound like a human it scared the shit out of me boy i had to go to the store yesterday and get cookie some food this is literally my cat's favorite food he's just a weirdo but he gets what he get first thing i do whenever i wake up is i feed my cat because i don't know this is my baby it's coming cooks ew 
Cat food be making me nauseous, y'all. Why does it smell like that? Anyways. Okay, you guys. Literally, I just got done making breakfast like 20 minutes ago. I made... I don't like this lighting. You guys, we have a crisis on our hands. Okay, you guys, so I just got done making breakfast. I made three hard-boiled eggs, and I ate some nitro takis. Don't ask me why I just ate those together. I don't know either, but my stomach better not start hurting on me because my stomach always gets sensitive with mixtures like that. But why did my mom just call me right now and tell me that my car, Roxy, got towed? Because basically, a couple nights ago, I was driving to Tehachapi, and my tire literally popped in the middle of the freeway so i had to just go to the right and turn on my emergency hazards so yeah i turned on the emergency hazards is pretty much all i could do in a situation like that i called my dad and my mom so my dad ended up picking me up and then we tried to call trip away but tell me why can't even talk about it yeah we tried to call trip away to help us replace the tire because i already had a spare tire we just needed help taking the bolts off the other one so we were trying to replace the tire and literally the freeway yeah and the freeway literally ends up shutting down because it's a blizzard warning because it's fucking snowing outside <clears throat> i just don't know why things like this happen to me but they always end up happening to me to my car to my roxy it's getting really repetitive at this point like choose a new plot like switch up the storyline because the shit is getting real old i was literally watching baddies west when i got the bad news like the worst news of the week the worst news of 2023 like why would this happen and y'all it's literally if i don't get it by 5 p.m you guys they literally towed it to palmdale and i live in bakersfield my car is literally two hours away from me why is my camera not fucking sitting like literally y'all my car is two hours away from me so they towed my car off the side of the freeway because nobody told me that your car couldn't sit there for more than 72 hours until the 72 hours were up and they towed my car. And if we don't get it by 5 p.m., they're going to charge me almost $400. But if we wait until tomorrow to get the car, they're going to charge us $700. So yeah, we're gonna go get the car right now because we're not trying to pay no $700. It's getting really absurd how they are trying to take people's innocent money. All I did was pop a tire, couldn't get AAA because the freeway was closed because it was snowing. And I literally called AAA and had to pay $90 just to get AAA because my mom has no more services left because I used them all. What is the meaning of this? I'm really fucking tired of having to live with no car. It's already been three days. Wait, it's been like four days and I've had no car. No Roxy. Nothing. I don't know if y'all know how that feels, but shit, I'm, I'm starting to become really humbled about the fact that I don't have a car. I'm starting to really feel carless right now. So basically, I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. I'm not excited to pay $400. Don't pop a tire in the middle of the freeway when it's about to snow. As you can see, I need to unpack everything in here already. I got some new track suits from Kalina. Yeah, I just have a whole bunch of random stuff out right now. I'm really excited to start this transformation because like literally these posters are from 2019. <gasps> Did I just drop my phone? I just wanted to come on here and end off this vlog really quickly because I noticed I didn't film an ending to this vlog. I did end up getting my car back. I think one of my parents went and rescued my car for me because I did end up paying $400 just to get it back though. Even though it wasn't even my fault that it got towed in the first place because AAA couldn't help me because I guess I have a certain type of BMW that they didn't have the parts to take off the tire for Basically, yeah, that was a very unfortunate situation super unnecessary But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my new video I hope you guys enjoyed my moving vlogs and just my apartment vlogs in general I didn't make a lot of apartment vlogs, but I still have a lot of footage that I need to edit that I didn't know I didn't know about the footage until I recently just found a bunch of my SD cards and now I have a whole bunch of footage from um, five months ago 
So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but once I figure it out, you guys are gonna see a bunch of new content of me five months ago in my apartment. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below anything you want because I read every single comment. Yeah, so thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.